In this paper, we present an approach to learning pushing and grasping for robotic manipulation with self-supervised deep reinforcement learning. Picking up objects can be hard, especially when they are tightly packed together. In such cases, it can be difficult to find space to place fingers, and in certain configurations can be too wide to be grasped directly. Most grasping algorithms today often fail to handle these types of scenarios, since they can only find accessible grasps. As a result, they can attempt bad grasps repeatedly to no avail. In this work, we are interested in enabling robots to perform supporting actions like pushing in order to move objects apart and to make grasping easier. The idea is that by doing so, robots can ultimately achieve more efficient and reliable picking. Here is a demonstration of our method in action. Our goal is to learn effective pushing and grasping policies from scratch through trial and error, while also being able to generalize to new objects and scenarios such as this one, never seen before during training. Our system is entirely self-supervised with minimal human intervention required and can successfully train within a few hours. Using a calibrated camera, our system captures RGBD images of the scene and uses 3D point cloud information to generate RGBD height maps of the robot's workspace. These height maps are fed into a pushing network, which is a fully convolutional dense net, to generate pixel-wise predictions of Q values, which is a measure of future expected reward in the context of Q learning from reinforcement learning. Here, they are visualized as a heat map, where hotter regions indicate higher Q values. Each pixel location represents a physical push 10 centimeters to the right of the height map, starting at that point in the scene. Similarly for grasping, we feed the same height maps into another grasping network to generate pixel-wise predictions of Q values for grasping. In the second output, each pixel represents a physical grasp centered at that point in the scene, oriented horizontally with respect to the height map. To make predictions for different grasping orientations and pushing directions, we rotate the height maps by 16 different angles before feeding into the network in order to generate a set of 16 pixel-wise Q-value maps. This effectively gives us value predictions for 16 different pushing directions and grasping angles for every visible location in the robot workspace. The pixel and corresponding action with the highest Q value prediction is passed to the controller, which executes the respective pushing or grasping primitive on the real robot. Afterward, the camera captures images again and the process is repeated. Both the pushing and grasping networks are trained jointly as a single Q function approximator under a standard off policy online Q learning framework. Rewards are automatically provided from successful grasps. Our method of rotating input height maps improves sample efficiency by enabling the networks to share one set of learned features across multiple different pushing directions and grasping orientations. In our experiments, we were able to successfully learn pushing and grasping policies from scratch in less than 2,000 trial and errors. At 10 seconds per robot action, this amounts to just 5.5 hours of wall clock training time. Furthermore, since fully convolutional dense nets are very efficient, each forward pass of the network takes only 75 milliseconds on a commodity GPU. This enables fast and practical runtime speeds. One of the first questions that we aimed to answer was whether pushing actually helps grasping. We did several controlled experiments by training grasping-only policies, as well as pushing and grasping policies with our method. During training, the robot explores pushes and grasps on randomly dropped objects in the workspace, but during testing, the robot is exposed to new and challenging arrangements of blocks such as this one. In general, we find that the policies with both pushing and grasping are more likely to pick up everything, whereas the grasping-only policies can frequently get stuck repeating bad grasps. Pushing and grasping policies also experience a much higher chance of overall grasping success and pick up objects more frequently, often taking less time to pick up the same number of objects. Generalizing to novel objects is also important for picking in unstructured scenarios. Here, we show that while our policies have only been trained on wooden blocks through trial and error, they are also capable of generalizing to new objects with textures and shapes that have never been seen before during training, for example, on tightly arranged random office objects as well as fruit. Our system, however, has its limitations. For example, when faced with objects too large for the gripper, the algorithm would only perform pushing since grasping Q values remain low. Sometimes clusters of objects can also be pushed outside the camera field of view. Alleviating this constraint by adding a wrist-mounted camera is an interesting topic for future work. 
For more results, code, and analysis, please visit our project webpage linked in the description below.